going on guys so I just finished the um, the whole water cooling loop with the ps4 pro um, I didn't document how I bent all the tubes but what I am going to show you I'm gonna show you how I did it and what tools I used so um, if you do try to recreate this uh, you'll have the steps to do it so let's get into that the first thing that you're gonna want to get is a, um, a heat gun and you want to mount it so it's pointing straight up into the air and pretty much just tape it down like what I did. I just, as you can see, you put it on this cheap chair. And you want to take your tube. This was a mess up that I did. As you can see, it was a complete fail. But um, yeah, once you get your tube, you need a, the right size for the, the insert that will go in. What this does, this prevents the tube from kinking like this. And um, the reason why this happened was because... I used the tube that was too small for it. I thought it was going to be right, but um, ended up being the wrong size. So since this is the correct one, it would work. So you pretty much put it inside the tube that you want to bend. Now, to make normally to make this go through, I usually just use Dawn um, soap detergent that you would use for dishes. It's fine if it heats up. It'll just bubble up a little bit, and um, it won't affect the tubing. But once it's in there, you just uh, put on the heat gun. Put it on the lowest setting that you can do. And just heat up the area that you want to bend. And just make sure you're always moving the tube as well. Because you don't want to keep it in the same spot. If you do that, the, um, the tube will end up bubbling. You might end up getting... Uh, the splits that go on with the plastic. That's something that usually happens when plastic overheats. And then once you start seeing the, uh, the plastic to start to like kind of move on its own like this, you know it's ready. And then you just kind of bend it. And then hold it in place until it dries. And uh, since this tube is already messed up, as you can see, it's kinking even more. But once you just hold that in place, you'll have a perfect um, 90 degree angle. And then you can just pull out this tube. There you go, it's curved now. And um, now I'll show you some of the the tubes that I did on this bend that I did on the PS4. As you can see, I have a 90 degree coming off of this. Um, I have a 90 degree coming off of this temperature meter, which then goes up to another 90 degree to go into the pump and then I used all these fittings to be able to rise the bend that's coming from the radiator that's behind there same up there as well but instead I have another bend that goes straight up to go into the APU cooler and then it comes again out and then back into the pump now I had to do this weird U-bend because um, every single bend that I tried to do, it would just, it just kept kinking if I tried to come straight out and then go into the pump. So this is the best solution that I had. And yeah, that's how it looks so far. Hope you guys liked this video. I'm just going to end it here with a quick montage of um, filling up the water loop and everything. So... Just stay tuned for the next video and I'm pretty much going to be wiring everything up. Like everything to the power supply. And also I'll be upgrading the 1 terabyte hard drive to the 4 terabyte hard drive. That should be next week. So comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.